Dr. Seuss, and to think I saw it on Mulberry Street. When I leave home to walk to school, my dad always says to me, Marco, keep your eyelids up and see what you could see. But when I tell him where I've been and what I think I've seen, he looks at me and sternly says, your eyesight's much too keen. Stop telling such outlandish lies. Stop turning minnows into whales. Now what can I say when I get home today? All along the way to school and all the way back, I've looked and I've looked and I've kept careful track. But all that I've noticed except my own feet was a horse and a wagon on Mulberry Street. That's nothing to tell. What would you, what that would do? Of course, just a broken down wagon that's drawn by a horse. That can't be my story. That's only a start. I'll say that a zebra was pulling that cart. And what, and that is a story that no one can beat when I say I saw it on Mulberry Street. Yes, a zebra is fine, but I think it's a shame. Such marvelous beast with a cart that's so lame. The story should really be better to hear if the driver I saw were a charioteer, a golden blue chariot, something to meet, rumbling like thunder down Mulberry Street. No, it won't do, not at all. A zebra's too small. A reindeer is better. He's fast and he, and he's fleet. And look mighty smart on old Mulberry Street. Hold on a minute, there's something wrong. A reindeer hates the way it feels, to pull a thing that runs on wheels. He'd be much happier instead if he could pull a fancy sled, kind of like Santa Claus. Hmm, a reindeer and a sleigh. Say, anyone could think of that. Jack or Fred or Joe or Nat. Say, even Jane could think of that. But it isn't too late to make a lit one little change. A sleigh and an elephant. There's something strange. I'll pick one with plenty of power and size. A blue one with plenty of fun in his eyes. And then, just to give him a little more tone, have a Raja with rubies perched high on a throne. Say, that makes a story that no one can beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. But now I don't know. It still doesn't seem right. An elephant pulling the thing that's so light would whip would whip it around in the air like a kite. But he'd look simply grand with a big brass band. A band that so good it should have someone to hear it. But that's going so fast that I that it's hard to keep near it. I'll put up a trailer, I know they won't mind, if a man sits and listens while hitched on behind. But now, is it fair? Is it fair what I've done? I'll bet those wagons weigh more than a ton. And really too heavy a load for one beast. I'll give him some helpers, he needs two, at least. But now, what worries me is this. Mulberry, Street's run, Mulberry Street runs into bliss. Unless there's something I can fix up this awful traffic mix-up. It takes police to do the trick to guide them through where traffic's thick. It takes police to do the trick. They'll never crash now. They'll race at top speed with Sar Sergeant Mulvaney himself in the lead. The mayor is there and he thinks it is grand and he raises his hat as they dash by the stand. The mayor is there and the alderman too, all waving big banners of red, white, and blue. And that is a story that no one can beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. With the roar of its motor, an airplane appears and dumps out confetti while everyone cheers. And that makes the story really not bad, but it still could be better. I suppose, suppose that I add, a Chinese man who eats with sticks, a big musician doing tricks, a 10 foot beard that needs a comb. No time for more, I'm almost home. I sung round the corner and dashed through the gate. I ran up the steps and I felt simply great for I had a story that no one could beat and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street.
but dad was quite calmly, just draw up your stool and tell me the sights on your way home from school. There was so much to tell I just couldn't begin. Dad looked at me sharply and pulled at his chin. He frowned at me sternly from there in his seat. Was there nothing to look at? No people to greet? Did nothing excite you or make your heart beat? Nothing, I said, growing red as a beet, but a plain horse and wagon on Mulberry Street. The end.